Hello, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. I'm going to go ahead and try this today, and I'm not for sure how it's going to work out, but if it does work out, this is going to actually go over into the cookbook of Retired at 40. Um, it's like a freeze-drying cookbook, and there will be a link down below when we get all done. But um, my sister made some uh, broccoli and cheese soup, which is absolutely my most favorite soup ever. But she made it with, like, the Aldi thing of like uh, the brick cheese but I thought you know why wouldn't the liquid cheese that I already do have here on hand why wouldn't that work so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and do like four cups because that would be the 32 ounces that is in that Aldi brick of cheese or Velveeta brick of cheese I'll bring it down here so you can see what I'm doing <clears throat> this is probably gonna get a little bit messy I'm almost positive of it but I thought just dipping in and pretty much doing the four cups now I don't usually buy that boxed um, liquid broth because I just don't I just never have but I do have some that I had bought when it was on sale a while back and so I'll use two cans which is almost the whole box and I'll use approximately four cups I'm gonna add just a little bit more because you know some stick into the side so I'll do just a little bit more, and then I'll go ahead and scrape this out. Hopefully this does turn out, because like I said, this is my this is my most favorite soup. So, and then what I'll do with the rest of this is I will make the rest of this into um, some. Make it into some queso. I could not remember the name of that. It saved my life. So I make my own queso. I have my own um, freeze dried hatch peppers. I'll use that and I'll use my own canned tomatoes. There's actually a video of me actually already doing that. So, yes, this is going to get re freeze dried and it'll, it'll go back into a jar. But what I'm going to do is stir this together and blend this up before I put in the onions and the carrots other than I'm trying to make a complete mess out here <clears throat> and of course this is going to get warmed up on the stove my husband will taste it, make sure it tastes okay when it gets all done and I mean I don't understand why it wouldn't work I mean this looks kind of like what it would be if you use that brick cheese but in hers she warmed up you know she chopped up some onions and um, browned them pretty much and then she put in her own canned carrots now obviously You know, I'm not going to do that because I have freeze-dried carrots, I have some freeze-dried onions. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the onions in here. I really need to find a sale on some onions. Because I think this is all the freeze-dried onions I have left and that is just, that's not okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in some carrots. Now these were just the freeze-dried, or the um, carrots that were actually um, just the frozen carrots that you buy in the freezer section and I thought I was feeling around and I thought I had grabbed a thing of broccoli that was a smaller pieces Walmart's been having that lately but I know this is not one of them and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a bag of frozen broccoli and then what's this all gonna do is it's all gonna cook together I'll probably just take the little thing and kind of cut up the um, cut up the broccoli. I think I could almost honestly. I'll I'll wait for this, but I think this could almost do probably because this looks awful cheesy. Not awful like is in bad, but like cheesy. I bet this could probably actually go with um, one more can of broth. But I'll warm this up. And I will bring you back after my husband gives it a try and see if we need to doctor it up any. Okay, 
Hi, welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to go ahead and pull the stuff from the freeze dryer. It just got done. It's a mess in there now. But I'm going to start with the broccoli soup here. And um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to it and I'll bring it down here. Usually what I do on stuff when it's in trays is I either do the, the ones in the dollar store. These are the two and a half gallons. Or um, there's actually some, I believe, from, um, from Glad or something like that. But anyways, I know the lighting's horrible in here. But as you can see, this is all nice and um, like a sponge. And I'll go ahead and start putting some of these in here. I like how this is coming right out of here without really too much problems. Because what I'm going to do with this is I don't want to run this with a food processor because of the broccoli. But what I want to do is when I get both sheets in here, I'm going to go ahead and um, run my rolling pin over it. So it's more powdered, but it's not... This is coming up so easy. I thought for sure this would be one heck of a mess. But anyways, things like that make me happy. Little things. And then as you can see, and I just go ahead and stick that in. And of course I made my area a big mess. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and get this shut. I could break this down a little bit, but it could probably almost be good enough to reconstitute just breaking it down. But I'm just going to run the rolling pin over it just a little bit. And yes, I keep an extra rolling pin in my freeze dryer room. to mylar seal this. I'm just going to um, go ahead and uh, vacuum seal this. <clears throat> I did pull out a second bag to use for the queso. But because it's the same cheese, I think I'm just going to go ahead and not be wasteful and just use the same bag. Now what's going to happen after I go ahead and um, Without making too much of a mess, I should have pushed this down. So that's what it's going to look like in the jar. And like I said, once I um, reconstitute this, I will go ahead and uh, vacuum seal that. And um, I'll bring you back when I go to reconstitute this. Hello, my friends. I'm going to go ahead and try to reconstitute some of this uh, broccoli and cheese soup. I did get a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and do one tablespoon there. And I'm going to go ahead and just do probably the two tablespoons of water. Now, obviously, it's going to depend on how liquidy you want your soup. There's three tablespoons right there. Now I think this would take a little bit longer to come back because um, of the broccoli. But I don't like my soups that dry, so. 
that's four tablespoons, and that's about the consistency that I would want on my soup. And I will bring it back. All right, my friends, here is the broccoli and cheese soup. I did add yet one more teaspoon. And you all know I can't taste it, but, you know, I mean, I, I'll know the, the texture in my mouth. So that was less than probably five minutes. And really, other than it being cold, um, that tastes exactly like what it, it did before I freeze dried it. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and a wonderful day.